So Alex, first point for two months. <laughs> Pleased with that point, or is it too dropped? Um, I think realistically, I was, I was probably too dropped. Um, it was. I think the lads give us a lot today. Um, there were some really good performance individually. I thought Amir was excellent down on that left. Just lacked a little bit towards the end on the like, just a little bit of delivery, but everything he'd done was bang on. Um, probably looked a bit leggy in, in the middle of the part, but they, they worked hard. But the pitch was boggy, that didn't help. Uh, but I, I thought they were good, considering where we've been over the last, sort of like say, five games, six games. It was showed a lot of character. There was, I've got six players unavailable today with injuries, people gone out on loan, people on holiday. It's, and like, you got to look at like Joe Reed, for instance, start the game slow, done his knee in pre season, coming back. Still needs to get his fitness up, but the lad was playing Cam's Kershaw Senior B last year, and I thought he'd done excellent out there today, and grew into the game, didn't put a lot wrong, um, and I thought Callum, 18 again, to centre half, played left back, I thought he'd done really well. I know it was a bit of a soft clearance for him, but someone's got to help him out and get tight to the nine who scored the goal. Um, but he has a great strike. Um, but when, when your luck's against you, every time we make a little error, it's just punishing us. Did last week against Sleaford, and uh, but today we've got a point at home. Um, we tried to play the right way. It was quite entertaining. Um, we did lack a little bit of shots on goal, but it's coming. And in, and like the desire, the work rate to go get a result was was there. We've got good options now going forwards. A lot of quality. A lot of positions up for grabs, so it's going to keep people on their toes and hopefully kick each other up the backside a little bit to strive to do better. Um, I thought Sam Murphy was excellent again at, at centre half. He stepped in at half time at Sleaford, looked real cool and composed and brought the ball down, which relieves a lot of pressure. And if you go back to previous weeks, we, we do defend for large periods of the game, and that's a problem. Um, but it is getting slightly less. Um, we need to get Skipper fit. Um, keeps coming in and out of the team. He's got a heart as big as it comes, but we need to get him fit because if he's fit, this team will be well, like successful. Um, but we have got to realise we have got quite a young side and we are rebuilding. And and I thought they, they give everything they could today. And uh, as a performance, I thought that was excellent for their desire. I am disappointed we didn't see out the game and, and get a result because I thought they deserved it. They needed it. Um, but that's a point at home. Um, we look to Boston next week and we'll, we'll train again on Tuesday and keep growing and keep progressing. And like I said, we've got a young squad that we've got to keep together and um, hopefully that we can turn this team and, and club around to be quite successful on the pitch and off the pitch and, and give, the, give the club a... A, a friendly face to come and, and really enjoy the occasion here. We had mascots there today for the first time in in God knows how long, and they've had a great day. They've had a little game on the pitch, they've had a little medal. They've come in the dressing room. They've really enjoyed it, and that's that's little things we can do now as a club going forward. Um, but it could have been different again um, with the man putting away the second goal, which looks to be on the side. Um, it's a big difference going in at half time 2 0 up. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't really know what the ref see. I mean, if the defender's touched it, whether he's offside on the pass leading to the, the touch from the, the the defender, I don't know. Um, only the linesman can give. I mean, the linesman flagged for one before that off a goal kick. And I mean, I'm pretty confident you can't be offside from a goal kick. Um, and, and then the defender's headed it into his path and I, I don't get how that's offside but I'm not a referee and I'm not going to uh, judge him for it it's step five football at the end of the day and like I say at, when your luck's against you these decisions don't come um, and that's where we're at but we keep fighting we keep doing it and we will create our own luck and like I say we, we're getting there and it's that is tough that is frustrating for both as a club and fans what paying the money to come watch but 
we can go get loads of old heads in to keep kicking it long and grinding out results like some people do in this league or we can build a younger side with a little bit of experience and try and play a bit creative and that's what we're trying to do. It might no, that, that's really key though isn't it because we've gone through lots of different managers over the last five, four or five seasons, lots of players coming in and out, it really needs a, a good step good solid team now yeah we, I mean we, as a club we've, we've we've lost touch with our reserves and our youth team and going back to when I was 18 being called for the under 18s or reserves was a big honour and even playing for the reserves was Cam's Kershaw Prem back then that was a big thing to play for Wizards Town and we've slowly let that slide away from us and we've not took no notice of the under 18s or reserves and we've allowed these good young players to escape and might not help with neighbours next door chucking money at kids early doors uh, makes the competition harder um, but we've got to get back in touch with the youth and try and build that in Ailey has got um, some good youth teams and hopefully they grow and grow and we can build a good setup for the football club to go forward and a foundation um, that will take time but it's a process which I personally feel it needs to happen um, whether I'm still in charge to do that, it's a decision they need to do to keep going forward and progressing because we've, we've got to allow the good players in this area to come through and give them a pathway to play for this football club. And but it needs it needs the fans and the board and everybody to give you the time to allow that to come through. There's no point in just constantly looking to change. Yeah. It does, long term it doesn't really great success no i mean the, the club have got a, a good handful of people that care about the football club and um it don't have enough volunteers to come in and and help on certain things the chairman tries to do a lot himself um like i say he puts a lot of his time a lot of his own money into the football club and sometimes that helps when you've got people you can trust to take a bit of pressure off you and that's where we've got to be and if people are interested in getting involved in the football club then get in touch because the club are calling for volunteers to come in and help in different areas and take some stress loads off other people. People got their own jobs as well as all the stuff that goes on at the football club and like I say we're trying to be a more friendly family club and and get it involved so hopefully going forward over the next couple of months and Christmas periods and this lotto draw we're now starting hopefully that build a bit of a fan base and and, and a place that people can come and enjoy their day out really and, and, and have fun here and hopefully like I say going forward we put on better events at the football club and like I say trying to build some revenue daily, weekly, monthly to help the club going forward instead of relying on same sponsorships every year is, is the way we've got to go and, um, but that takes time and that takes people that have got a desire to help the football club and and, and try and make a one a name for themselves and say look this is what we've done and hopefully we can kick on and, and go from there really. And bringing Andre in is, gives you another option up front? Yeah I mean that's his first game, he come off the bench, it's, tar, it's hard on a pitch like that to get going um, but when you've scored the goals he has from a team who are bottom of the league that shows that he's got something about him and the way we try and play now we've just got to try and get them forwards getting some shots on target because like I said we, we didn't really make the keeper make many saves last week keeper's not made many saves today um, but Fruy looked quite fit uh, and on it flicking on quite well and it's just getting him and Toby I take it to work, working together more then hopefully the yeah, chances will come I mean having Michael Fruy and, and John Chowder in is, is a big plus for us um, like I said John Chowder's 42 Fruy's 39 and, and their professionalism that they have um, into this team that we've got, who are youth who have come through, like a lot of them who we're relying on, have come through like lower ranks of amateur football, and we're trying to develop them into a hard working step five side. And you've only got to look at Fruy and, and Charles to show their professionalism, and that's why they've played at the highest levels and played at Stanford in their success that they've had. And, they're a big plus and they're experienced, they do talk, you do see them sort of pulling people aside a little bit, having good little chats with them and hopefully they take it on board, what they're listening to and and we start to see some good results coming their way because they've, they've got a good togetherness now, they're clicking um, and I'm, I'm excited for them, I'm desperate for them to do well, 
Like I say, it's not, I don't need my own accolades. I've had that playing football. It's tough. Like I say, I, I do find it tough at times as a manager on my own. Still want the right person to come in and help me out. I don't want it to be just some a, a face that comes in and does something different. Um, yeah, because you said a few weeks ago you'd hope to get somebody in. Is that yeah? Forward it's still going. Um, just the amount of rejections we've had is, for whatever reasons, is we won't disclose all them. But they just yeah, it's it's something that's there. But hopefully, the the we get foundations in place where we are like progressing the club and there's some positivity going about like I say I mean the chairman's trying to sell some land now at the front which might bring some revenue in and, and hopefully build the club and make us financially stable going forward and, and, and independent going forward so um, you can't keep doing that though can you that's a it's a one time hit sort of thing yeah it's it's there but like you say if we get people to come in who are who want to help out and, and, and kick on then you never know. Like I say, there's a lot of money around Wiz Beach and the surrounding areas and you just got to, they want to spend it. We've just got to give them reason to come here and spend it because at the minute it's do I, don't I, should I, should I not? And we need to get that fun factor back here to say, I want to invest there. It looks a really good place to be. And they're financially stable. They've got good youth systems and, and that, that's the way football's gone these days. And um, that's why people like Leverington and Wisbeach St Mary's, they've got massive youth systems now, but they've got no pathway to men's football. And I mean, they have their first teams, but it's that's where we need to strive to be really with a youth set up. I know we don't have all the space, but there's options. Like you say, that you've got Hung Up Field, which has nobody playing on it with massive amount of acres where we can build a link with them. I know the, the Alex there on the council, he we can make a set up there. So, that helps him out, that helps everybody out here. And, and that's a, that's something we can try and get m moving. Obviously not right now, but obviously going forward, we've got to sort of try and get these things into place. And obviously this does help take volunteers to come and help us out again. So um, obviously again, if people are interested and, and, and like the plan going forward or want to have a chat with anybody, then obviously get in touch with the social media side and they'll, they'll let one of us know. So.